What's going on y'all? So today I'm actually shooting two videos because I am going crazy. <laughs> no, actually I just had a lot of problems this week and a lot of good content to make videos about. So in this video I'm talking about how you can make your Sony footage show up in DaVinci Resolve. I had a huge problem this week in trying to convert a Final Cut Pro project into a Premiere Pro project, which I just made a video on, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it now. So one of the biggest issues I had was when I was importing the project, none of the footage files were being shown, and I couldn't figure out why. After hours of research, I found out that sometimes Sony footage has problems importing into DaVinci Resolve. So I did some research to try and find out why this footage wasn't showing up, but I couldn't figure it out. I kept looking around and I finally stumbled across this one video in Spanish that was super low quality and I kind of figured out how to do it. I still had to guess around and figure out the exact way to do it, but it gave me a general idea of how to do this. But with that being said, I wanted to make a video that was explaining this situation and made it really easy to troubleshoot it and fix this problem for anyone else out there. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, we just want to open up DaVinci Resolve. So now that we have DaVinci open, all we want to do is click new project down here and I'm going to title this one Sony and then just hit create and boom, there you have it. It opens up your DaVinci Resolve project. So in this case, I was working on a music video with one of my friends, so I'm actually going to import his Final Cut Pro project in here to show you what issue I was getting. So here's the specific issue I was getting. When I was importing a FCP XML file, which is just a Final Cut Pro project, I was getting that the footage that was in the project wasn't being found. So what I did was I was trying to search for that footage. It's right here, it's in this music videos, it's in this one, in here, in this file. So I hit OK, and it searches for that footage. But as you can see, after the search, those 13 clips were still not found. So I was just completely confused and didn't know what to do, but that's OK, I figured it out, and this is what to do. So if you get this message, or if you're in the same situation I'm in, just hit no and hit OK, and then bam, our whole project opens up, but as you can see, none of our footage is actually shown and all of our media is offline. So what we want to do in this case is we want to go over to the Media tab, which is down here at the bottom, and then we're going to come and we're going to find our footage up here in our Media Browser. So all my footage for the music video is right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the clips that I want, and I'm just going to drag and drop them down here into my project. So if you come down here to where you just dropped your footage and you take a look at the time codes, you can see that all the time codes are completely screwed up, or at least the start time codes are absolutely just messed up and not starting at zero. And that's exactly why over here in our edit tab, none of our footage is showing up. So what we have to do, unfortunately, is we have to go through here and one by one change the time code to start back at zero. So to fix the starting time code, all you got to do is you want to go over to a clip, you want to right click it, come up to clip attributes, go over to time code, and then it'll either say current frame or it'll say start frame end frame and you just want to change that current frame or that start frame to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and then hit OK. So again all you gotta do is you gotta right click come up to clip attributes go over to time code and change this current frame to 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 and yes unfortunately you do have to do this one by one they won't let you select them all and do it all at the same time you do have to individually go into each clip and change this time code which can be a pain in the butt what I like to do is I like to just copy this so that when I come in here to my clip attributes I can just go to my time code and paste that in and it happens just like that. So 
so I'm on my last clip and I just wanted to show you how to do it one more time so you just right click on the clip come up to clip attributes go over to time code and then you want to change that current frame or that start frame to 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0.0 and then hit OK and boom there you have it now if you look down here at all of our media and look at the time codes that looks way better and way more correct so now we'll go over to our editing tab and boom there's all our footage right there now we're missing a couple audio tracks but it looks like I just didn't even have that footage or didn't even have those files so I'm not too worried about that I'm just glad all of our footage is actually showing up now so that's how you can make your Sony footage show up in DaVinci Resolve if it's not showing up already. If there's other ways to do this, please drop a comment. If this helped you, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out, please subscribe. That's the best way you can support me. And for now, I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video.